should have let that play. Oh well. That was my bad. Alright, so... Time to play Streets of Rage 3. Now, I will attempt to play the American version, which is notoriously known for being a uh, terrible port with horrible translation, unnecessary censorship, and on top of that, it was needlessly more difficult than it needed to be. So, the game is quite difficult, uh, essentially normal in the U.S. is very hard in Japan, or even more. Like, the, the scaling for the enemy lives is just all over the place. So, so I'm going to give it a whirl. But I will give, try to give myself an advantage with uh, Super Axel, which is a more upgraded version of him. The thing is, getting the code to unlock him is a, a bit difficult, so I'm going to see what I can do. May take a couple tries. Because it is a notoriously difficult code to do. Axel, I have learned from a new friend, Dr. Zan, that the Syndicate is back with a clever new plan to take control of the city by replacing top-ranking officials with identical robots under the control of Mr. X. The old boss, the chief of police, has disappeared and everybody in the city is preoccupied with the recent spate of bomb explosions. I fear that the Syndicate's evil plan is already underway. Adam is too busy to help, but his brother Skate is joining Dr. Zan and me to try to get behind the bombing campaign and expose the real danger to the city. We need your help, Axel. Please come. Your partner, Blaze. So, the American version, the story is just makes no sense and in japan it does so it was just uh borked from the get-go so it's not a good uh translation i'm gonna give myself extra lives yep i should have six button capability here a b c x y z yep cool Right, so I'm going to try this with Axel. I don't know if it will work. Uh, can I save? Right? Yes, I can. All right. So if I do manage to pull him off, I will save. That way I can start back if I need to. Jackpot. What up, Ernie? All right, so I'm going to try to get a special version of Axel, Super Axel, because the American version of this game is so needlessly difficult. So I need an ace in the hole. So I need to wait for the cutscene to, to play, and then I need to enter a code. Hopefully it works. Buster, what's up, dude? What's going on? Guess we're lucky we found the bomb. What's our next move, Axel? Well, Zan was right about the bomb. Maybe he's right about the robots, too. But I'll have to see it to believe it. Because at this point, he doesn't trust Dr. Zan. Let's try to get a lead from the punks. All right, here we go. Sorry, you don't believe me, Axel. Once the screen fades to black is when I gotta input the code, but there's no time to waste. Let's go. All right, here we go. There we go. All right, that's Super Axel. 
Perfect. All right. Cool. So I can save. Cool. All right. So you'll notice that when I did the spinning attack, you notice how the whole screen vibrated. That's super axle. So that move does a crazy amount of damage. And I will need that. I see you got the bot working. Nice. Does it show up? Um, okay. I just... Like, why did you need it, though? Because the, the chat I have on the right side of the screen anyway, so I don't really see what the difference is. But whatever. Long day. Just got done watching Double Dragon 3 be finished. Oh, so uh, Foxon beat it? Nice. All right, let's try this out. Oh. See how weak Axel is here? He's just so weak. Everyone is nerfed big time in three, so it's it takes some getting used to. Except for that move. Let them surround me. Which I don't think this move causes me any damage. No. All right. I'm going to need it. I'm going to need it for sure. All right. The bat has a special too. If you run, do that. But unlike Streets of Rage 2, the bats do have a life bar, which sucks. So you can't use them forever, which is pretty lame. Right, so there we go. See how it instantly kills them? <laughs> I'm gonna need it. I'm gonna need that help because the game just is ridiculous with the difficulty. All right, because uh, it's hard to read and not full screen. The things I do for you, Ernie, you fucking slacker. Yeah, all right. If I remember correctly, he has like a dragon punch. Yep. And in this game, you can't um, throw the fat guys anymore. They will hurt you. So it's uh, brought it back to Streets of Rage 1. Which sucks. With the exception of, I think, Dr. Zan is the only character that can throw them, I believe. And skate. Alright, here we go. Gonna kill them all in one go. Boom, boom, goodbye. All of these in one go. Goodbye. Like, see how these grunts have a long life bar just on the like first stage. This is normal. Like, it should not be. They should not have their life bar so huge. That's what happens when they ruin this game. They ruin the balance. All right, so let's bring Shiva back. Come back. Oh, all right. 
Should be some more bikes. No. Oh, this is where. All right. I'll kill them all. The boat will immediately come back. And goodbye. That's how you do it. That's how you play Streets of Rage. Damn, I missed the best one, number two. Yes, the Japanese version is uh, its much more balanced. Well, not just that, you'll notice that Axel has a yellow shirt here and black pants. Uh, for whatever reason, when they brought it to the States, they decided to change all the colors for everyone. Um, if you play the Japanese one, everyone has their traditional colors. Axel has the white shirt, blue jeans. Um, but yes, they, the balance, it's much more balanced. Uh, the game is not as cheap. The game is extremely cheap. Like, stage, up to stage four, it's okay. But then after that, it just, like, every, even the grunts have, like, multiple life bars, and it's just nuts. It's even a challenge for me to beat it. Uh, I don't beat it all the time, either. Which is why with the Super Axel, at the very least, I have a fighting chance. You see how much weaker he is? Like, his punches do nothing. It's crazy. Enemies have a lot more priority, too. But if I look away... Yeah, I already died. That's how... That's how bad it is. Alright, Chiba. Let me fuck you up, buddy. Come on, Shiva, let's go. Oh, you motherfucker. Crash, all right. All right, Shiva, let's go, you motherfucker. Come up, come up. Now, if you hold B and start when you kill Shiva, uh, if you get a game over, you get to play as Shiva. So that is a code. I believe you have to hold it until the next level starts. I can't believe it. No one told me a thing. This gate is angry. We're wasting time fighting these punks. I think I have an idea where to go now. I hope you're right. So now we're going to hit the city, the streets. Because it's the streets of rage. Well, you know what, by holding the buttons, I guess it disconnected the controller, so I guess that code doesn't work with this version. Here we go. Let me, whoops. I wasn't on the same plane, but... But he's green, he has multiple life. Love the music, though. The music is great.
Now there is a second Super Axle, which um, if you have Pro Action Replay, you enter a code and his, uh, his punches are glitched and they do like insane damage to Super Dark super quick. But unfortunately this code does not do that. Uh, you'll notice that Street Series 3 doesn't have a timer either. The timer's no longer there. Now this does utilize the 6 button controller. So you do have some extra attacks like that. Or this with just one button. So that's Z. X would be 1, 2, double kick. So that's handy. as well as a longer oh you know what I don't have any stars that's why okay so you get stars in this game uh, underneath your life bar you'll see a star Now, normally if you're playing this, uh, if you kill the kangaroo, you kill him. If you kill the clown first, when you get a game over, you get to play as the kangaroo, but you cannot kill him. So that is the challenge. You have to keep him alive. Music in 3, not as good. No, it's not. Um, so user Koshiro kind of went for like a more experimental vibe. Um, all right, I want to hit the clown. The clown is who I want. Oh well. Goodbye, Ru. <clears throat> this is who I want. Oh well. I'm not going to play Skanker anyways, but the whole thing is to keep it alive. Actually, I don't remember if you can do the uh, infinite combo in this game. See, see how long their life bars are? It's, a, it's such a huge discrepancy. Attacks do so little damage here too. In the Japanese one, it's it's more fair. So it's just you're doing so much extra work, and it's it's nuts. So it's literally everything is stacked against you in the uh, the American version. they get up faster. Shit. And there was a turkey. Motherfucker. So 
So it just it just changes a lot, and uh, a lot of things are changed, and it's just not as smooth as uh, as two. I'd like to say. I wish they would just translate Japanese games to have everything English except voices. I wouldn't mind it that way. Well, um, they did uh, for the PS3 and 360. They released something called the Sega Vintage Collection, and they had a Streets of Rage version. And from that one, you were actually able to play the American, European, and Japanese ROMs. So it did. It was the only official way that I know of to play multiple regions, right? Mona and Lisa. These are annoying bitches. Very annoying. Ideally, I want to try to catch them in this, but that'll be easier said than done. There we go. Goodbye. Just like Streets of Rage 1. Come on. They like literally avoid you at all costs. It's pretty funny. They have throw priority over you, and it's just very annoying. There we go. Die. Fucking bitch. Clever name choices, though. Well, uh, these women were the bosses in Tree to H1 on the boat. They just upgraded them. But they were very, very annoying. Come and inspect the building of our new mall. I knew this place was linked with the syndicate. We interrupt this program for an important announcement. The chief of police has been kidnapped. The last person seen with him was ex-cop Axel Stone. What? I haven't seen him for over six months. Coming at this time, the loss of such a senior city figure can only mean further mayhem if more bombs explode. I think this means trouble. Yeah, I'd say that. Let's get to the construction site. All right, so this is where the pits start showing up. And actually, the wind, too. All right, so you can't do infinite. Just the timing is different here. Yeah. 
but Oh my god. Don't you dare, you bitch. your time. Ideas to try to throw everyone off. So these girls in the American version, or they're they're fully clothed with the Japanese one. They're you know showing cleavage and all that. You fucking serious? See how annoying the AI is? <laughs> because you're not doing as much damage, that's the problem. Back to back. Time to fight Robot Axel. Goodbye. 
No free life. It's, it just takes forever, too. A robot that looked just like me. So it seems you're right, Dr. Zan. Now tell us why you're helping us. That robot nearly killed us. How do we know this isn't a trap? It may be a trap, but I didn't set it. Skate, how can you accuse Dr. Zan? Without his help, we would know nothing. I trust Dr. Zan. Please apologize to him. Stop arguing and look over here. This concealed door has been used recently. This brings us to the uh, subway. The tram. So you gotta watch out with the tracks. Whenever it vibrates, it tells you it's gonna go move over there. So it's going to alternate between top and bottom. Fuck out of here. So now it's going to be on the top. Never uh, ceases to crack me up. I get run over. Yep. Just the combat, just it, in three, it just feels stilted. It's not. how huge their life bars are. It's it's so stupid. Like they're just grunts. There's no reason why their life bars should be so huge. It's just I don't know what the logic was behind that. but it really made no sense. Uh, you 
can just hide here while they get hit. Always fun. Sometimes they hang on, other times they don't. It's always funny to see. Kill yourselves, yes please. Jiba, as in Sunny Jiba. Chances are they'll hang on, but chances are they'll also get hit. So just wait and see. There we go. Process of elimination. Die, please. <laughs> Three zero H four gonna be this hard? I uh, I don't know, man. I I don't know. I hope they balance it because you. I, I don't know if you can tell, but I'm I'm not I'm not complaining for the sake of complaining. It's just the way it is with this game. It's um, you know, you're playing on normal. Normal grunts should not have two life bars. You know what I mean? It's. And the uh, priorities are just out of whack, too. Because, like, in Industries Rage 2, you feel like you're in control. In this one, it's much more loose. It's not tight. Some people like the flow. Like, like it's somewhat faster, because movement overall is quicker. But I feel that it's sacrificed for other things. And well, that and the moves, like a, a combo does nothing for damage. All right, you get hit. That should be it, no? <laughs> there we go. to the boss which this is actually a fun boss it's the three samurai the three uh shredder looking guys i like this battle fight them one at a time it's got good music gotta watch out for that slice out the way. Watch out. Roll. Roll out of the way. So it's a, it's a good challenge. Well, I'll, I'll try to fight it fair. Again, like things like the roll are nice. They're nice additions. So notice he has three life bars. 
That's like that's nuts. I mean, luckily there's no timer, but it's still like look at that. The throw does nothing. So it's just fights take way too long. That slam does nothing. It's a joke. This is just the damage scaling is just not in your favor, but it's in the enemy's favor. Which I understand. For bosses, that makes sense. But for normal grunts, it, it's just not the way it should be. Come on. Oh. I got you, buddy. Yamato. Hey, well, let me try to get you with the other move. Shit. I'm just leaving myself open for that. damage. Like if you compare it to number two, bare knuckle did insane damage. Here it's like two jabs. It's useless. Like sure it has multiple hits, but the hits do nothing. Alright. Number two. Let me see if I can get you on the first hit. Tricks. Nope. I'm sorry, I'm probably missing the chat here. Three four are gonna be super easy, it's twenty twenty. We'll see. We'll see on April thirtieth. There we go. Boom. I forgot that was just ninjutsu. Shit. And he has the shoulder tackle. I forgot he had those. So this level has multiple paths. So there are multiple routes. This must be the syndicate's hideout. Do you recognize this place, Anne? No, I've never been here before. 
let's press on and see what we find. All right. So if you'll notice, there's one door. The third door has, like, damage on it. So when I kill all the enemies, if I punch that door, I can break through it and go to another route. Um, because the other route would be going through the wall, so. There we go. This is route number two. muscles. <laughs> oh, they killed me. Fuck. And the thing is, every time you die, you lose a star. Yes, these assholes block everything. Invincibility frames don't work like they do in, in 2. So now we go back down, continue the normal route. Um, Look at their life bars, dude. It's crazy that this is normal. Alright, so this is where the game gets hard. Like, really hard. Like, look at the life bars of the grunts. Stupid high. Like, look at this. I need this. I need it. So this is normally where people would get game overs.
And I think this is leading up to the Robot Mr. X, which, uh, if you play on easy, that would be the end of the game. Two, three life bars. Three life bars. We're not even halfway through the game yet. It's ridiculous. That's why it's, the North America is just, it's so broken in like so many different ways. Right. Elevator, right? Elevator, yep. There's like Street to Rage 2. Blocks everything. <laughs> so annoying. Got time for you. They take forever to get up to, it's so annoying. All right, should be Mr. X now. Gotta fight some new grunts though. Mr. X, welcome to my humble abode. I've been expecting you for some time. Tell me, Axel, what kept you? Enough of your games. What's going on? I am replacing the current city administration with some more dependable subjects. Starting with the chief of police. What have you done with him? Relax. He's in a safe place. Awaiting your rescue attempt. Alright, this boss is annoying. Why don't you come and join me? This is where he starts laughing. Oh, 
fighting Robot X is annoying. Very annoying. They just block everything. <laughs> oh my god. All right. <laughs> oh, not yet. Jesus Christ. this on easy this is where the game would end after the cutscene plays or no it would actually play a cutscene right now where uh, you see mr X, the real mr x watching it on a screen and he's mad i see you continue but it is obvious you will not join the syndicate so i have no further use for the chief of police so now i'm supposed to rescue him you will not defeat my other robots so easily. Dr. Zan knows this model was an early prototype. He's right, Axel. We must rescue the chief of police before the robot version appears in public. All right, so this one is a race against time. Uh, so... So notice the count down there. That's how long I have to save him. You have to keep in mind, 43 seconds, with the amount of shit damage that you do in the American version, it's impossible to save the chief of police. Chris, what's up, dude? How you doing, Chris? All right, let's see if I remember the route. You gotta go down one. And it should be the second door. I just need to kill everyone here first. Should be door number two. All right. One, two. Should be this one. That should be a machine in here. Yes. I'm doing it right. You fucking. So I need to go downstairs again, if I remember correctly. And should be the second door, yeah, door number two again. Yep. 
All right, good. All right. So I'm able to save him now. I need to go back up. Even with this, I have 17, 16 seconds to save him. Look at that bullshit. Alright, what uh I need to go up, right? Yes. Up. And the chief should be right there. There we go. Thank goodness you're alive. I feel weak, but I am unharmed. Good thing I remembered the route. Chief, it's really good to see you again. Blaze, I'm glad you're still in shape. I have no idea why I was kidnapped. Does it have anything to do with the bombings? There's no time to explain, sir. You must get back to City Hall immediately. You're right. I have a press conference in an hour. Alright. So now I'm, this is where I fight the Jets. So the thing is, this game has multiple paths. So if I had not saved the Chief of Police, if, I, if he died, the game would have the, uh, the other bad ending. <clears throat> where um, you fight Shiva at the end, I believe. I forget how many endings there are. I think there's three endings in this game, but because of that, there's also multiple paths you can take. Jerry Perkins, what's up? I am here. I see you, my man. Max, ¿cómo estás? Buenas noches, compañero. ¿Cómo estás, Max? Espero que todo está bien. All right, this match, this fight can be annoying. Because uh, these guys are all airborne. He has four life bars. Look at that. All right. Get you back down to speed. All right, got him. Nice. Ba -ba -dum -dum. Here comes Adam to save the day. My boy Adam. Well, 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 if it isn't the old gang in trouble again. Adam. I got your message, Blaze. <clears throat> Somehow I thought I might find you here. All right, very cool. LOL. So just uh, for those of you who are hopping on now, um, oh, hold on, Adam, you must get to the chief, the city hall. Why, what's all the hurry? He's safe now and should get some rest first. Mr. X has created a robot effigy of the chief that will speak to the public at the press conference. I see. We must get the real chief there before the robot so he can explain the danger and clear your name. All right, so this is where I get to City Hall. You're going to see the White House in the background. Oh, the jungle first. Yeah, I forget. Anyways, uh, Jerry, 
Chris, Max. So Streets of Rage 3, I'm playing the American version, obviously, um, and it is notorious for being a very bad port. It's censored, bosses were removed, <clears throat> the difficulty was jacked up to like the millionth degree. So I am using a, a secret in the game, which is a secret version of Axel, which uh, normally if you press A, it'll do like a spinning dragon fist. But this version, it spins constantly and the screen vibrates and it does massive damage. And it's really <laughs> the only way you have a chance in the game. Now, I don't want to fall. Oh my god. Shit, shit, shit. I don't want to fall into those black holes. Because those are... Uh, traps. And if I hit them, I will... I will uh, receive damage. So I want to avoid those. All right, he's going to come back. Look at how little damage these do. Like, even a drop kick does nothing. It's just like the balance of the American version is so broken. Oh my god. Oh, there I go. I get out of here. Oh, snap, Fox Sound. Uh, let me see what you're saying. Me acuerdo de un juego que jugaba en mi niñez, Punisher. Muy parecido a este, sí. Uh, Punisher fue un juego para el Genesis. Uh, Igual como esto, y ese juego fue de Capcom. Foxhound beat Double Dragon 3, the Sacred Stone tonight. Congratulations, Foxhound. That's pretty cool. Streets of Rage was beautiful for its time. Still looks good to me. No, it absolutely, absolutely does. It's uh, the art style. Uh, it definitely has uh, aged like a fine wine. All right, so I want to avoid those circles. If, if I touch them, I die. Well, not die, but I'll get hurt. And I want to avoid that. And these fuckers are annoying because they hop all over the place and you can only hit them once. Again, I want to avoid that little circular thing on the ground because if I do touch it, 
a triple wire will hit and I'll receive damage. So I do need to watch where I'm going. This is where the game gets stupid hard. Man, I forgot the boss. Fucking pain in the ass. I gotta watch out for the red lasers, too. There's just so much micromanaging here. They have crazy life bars, too. Oh, my God. Again, that thing will hurt me. So I gotta watch out for that red. So this game is needlessly difficult. I love this game. Nice, Jerry. Um, I would suggest, in case you haven't, play the Japanese version. It is much, much, much easier. Um, for whatever reason, when they brought it here, they just screwed it up in a million different ways, including the difficulty. Makes me want to get on Sega Genesis Collection to replay Streets of Rage 1 through 3 again. Yeah, I mean, it's, uh, you know, there was a sale a couple weeks ago on Steam uh, for this. It was only like 18 bucks or 15 bucks for everything. So I'd say it was a pretty good deal. Oh, you motherfucker. There you go. Yeah. You asshole. die just die please all right now it's boss time now i gotta hit the arm with while avoiding the lasers oh, it's so annoying and 
99 Vitas, I mean? I'm not sure what you mean. Foxon, can you repeat that? Alright, so I gotta hit the arm while avoiding the treadmill of doom. Dr. Dom. Ah, uh, shit. God damn it. Alright, that seems to work. Now it's phase two. Mr. X, Dr. Dom was the key to my plan. Now you've destroyed my robot factory. The city will pay for your meddling big time. Mr. X, don't you ever give up? Your helpless surrender. That's where you're wrong. My loyal followers in the syndicate have planted bombs throughout the city. Prime to detonate within the hour. Even you will not be able to stop mass destruction. Face it, Mr. X, Dr. Dom is no longer with you. You expect to run the city from a glass file? Yes, traitor. Let me show you how. Oh boy, he is a fucking pain. He can even break out of that, which is ridiculous. And you're on a timer. It's just ludicrous. This is the US game, yes, which is why it's so much harder. Have you tried a game called 99 Vitas? It's a good beat em up. Uh, no, I've never heard of it. So we're literally supposed to kill him, and that's impossible, considering how much he moves. How can he break out of that? Oh my god, he's just so broken. And he has three life bars. Four life bars. Jesus. Like, even Super Axel can't fuck with him. That's stupid. It literally has priority over everything else. Oh my god. <laughs> He's the only character who can break out of that. Oh my god. How am I supposed to beat him in time? It's so stupid. It's impossible.
<laughs> it's so whack. It's just, oh my god. 18 seconds. How you're supposed to do this, Lord knows. All right. There goes Gundam, Mr. X. I'm dying. Please help me. Are you kidding? Well, if I die, you die. Goodbye. This guy never gives up. Let's get out of here. The place is going to blow up. He has activated the self-destruct sequence. We must hurry or we will die. I can't find a way out. All the doors are locked. Axel, Skate, Zan, what are we going to do? Oh, I think we've had it. Hey, little brother, you don't think I'd let you die, do you? Adam, are we glad to see you? Get us out of here fast. A sexy blaze. I just looked at the time. I'm going to bed and night, although everyone at VC. All right, Fox out. Take it easy, dude. The Syndicate's headquarters and robot factory were destroyed in the explosion. Using Adam's police helicopter, the team managed to locate and defuse all the bombs planted by Mr. X. Dr. Dom informed the police of all the city officials who had been kidnapped, and whereupon their robot duplicates were destroyed and the real officials returned to their posts. Dr. Dom was placed in an asylum where he is said to be doing well. Dr. Zan was pardoned by the city for his role in the overthrow of the syndicate. The team spent some time together in the city and then went their separate ways. You got Skate and Adam just chilling. Why they decided to play the song, the signature Streets of Rage song, until the very end, don't know why. One of the many weird decisions with uh, Streets of Rage 3. Could have sworn it changes to other pictures too. There we go. There's Axel and Adam practicing their Taekwondo. Which would come with the second part? You mean Wish would come with the second? What do you mean, uh, Jerry? So I'm actually playing this on Steam. This is the Sega Genesis collection. So it has uh, Streets of Rage 1, 2, 3, Golden Axe, 1, 2, 3, Sonic. The Hedgehog 1, 2, 3, and a bunch of other Genesis games all in one. But it's also on Switch, PS4, and Xbox One. So you definitely can't get it. Very curious to see how Adam plays in Streets of Rage 4. But I'm honestly just hyped to play as Max again. Look at Blaze. Look at Blaze. One of gaming's first femme fatales. Mr. Nobody. I 
and Yuzo Koshiro was involved, but he didn't make every single track, which is why the music here is like very. Like, I mean, there are some memorable songs, but it's nowhere near the quality of one or two. There's Dr. Zan. Looking like he's ready to take an airplane. songs and music uh, or songs and video game music for sure very 90s euro dance very very like um, enigma so if you listen to the song enigma uh, sadness from enigma Sadness part one. Sounds just like it. There's Max. There's Max. Why we couldn't play as him? I'll never know. The end produced by Sega. And apparently it's New York because you see the Empire State and the Chrysler building. <laughs> All right. So there it goes. That's Streets of Rage 3. And you see it takes a hell of a lot longer. Uh, hell of a lot longer to play than number two. All right, well, I like the way these pictures look. I miss this look for art. Yeah, it's just something about that old, that old uh, pioneering art, you know? Everything had a sense of wonder to it. So, so uh, <clears throat> I'm still not done with Streets of Rage. So there are actually some mods I can play. Um, there is Mysteries of Rage 2. There is a mod where I get to play as the King of Fighters characters. There's also one where I get to play as Robocop. There's also one where I get to play as uh, the Street Fighter characters. Um, so I definitely want to try those out. I think that'll be pretty cool. You know, give the game a new spin. And then for Streets of Rage 3, what, uh... There's, well, I can play the Japanese version. And... There's actually a mod for an Uncle 3 Project. Nine playable characters, including Adam and Max. So you get to play as Max in Streets of Rage 3. So maybe I'll give that a try tomorrow. You know what, let me just take a quick peek and see what that's like. See how that looks. So this is like the Japanese intro. It's going to show the bomb. Yep. So the Japanese intro is like this. So this was the intro that was in the Japanese version. Wasn't in the American one at all. 
they replaced it with that letter that Blaze sends Axel. Ah, uh -huh. so he punches the screen. Yep. Would it be the same story, but he's in it? I have no idea. This is uh brand new. But see, the 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 letter is different here too. The words are totally different. So you know what? I I will look at this tomorrow. But I just. I just want to see how uh, how Max looks normal. Let's see. We get to play as Axel, Blaze, Skate, Zan, Rue, Shiva, Ash, who's the boss who was removed from uh, Streets of Rage Three, Max, and Adam. Good, we got a custom sprite for Adam. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. All right. <laughs> Get out of here. Okay, he has a roll. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, oh, oh. oh, yes. Oh, yes. He still has that. And the atomic drop. Oh, oh, where has this game been all my life? <laughs> oh my god. Oh, yes. Oh, Max, yes. Yes, look at that damage. That's the way it should be. Nice try, buddy. Alright, so Max doesn't have a sprite, a move for the melee. That's fine, he doesn't need melee. Oh, this is so much better. This is so much better. These guys can throw you. All right. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. oh man. Oh, I could, I could, I could see the possibilities. Can he throw the fat guys? Yes, he can. Something the other characters cannot do. <laughs> See how their life bars are normal? Just like the Japanese one, it's much more bad. Oh, man. oh, this is. Oh, I'm gonna have to play this as Max. Fuck, oh, because it'd be so good. The kangaroo, yes, the, um, this guy walks up to smacks your girl in the ass, what are you doing? I'm letting him take her. I'm not fucking with Max, you see Max, look at him, the fucking beast. <clears throat> so the kangaroo is a, is a, is a mid-boss character that you, you fight in stage three. <clears throat> and, uh, in that fight, there are two characters, the, <clears throat> excuse me, the kangaroo. 
and his master. So the thing is, if you defeat the master and keep the kangaroo alive, when you get a game over or continue, you're actually able to play as the kangaroo. There's a little secret. Oh yeah, I'm, I'm grabbing, I'm grabbing. Alright, so the atomic drop doesn't do as much damage, but it still does it enough. Still does a good amount. It should do more, but that's fine. All right, I, I'm gonna get carried away. Oh man, this is gonna be so good. Gonna be so good. Um, what? Wallpaper am I gonna use? I guess it's not playing Streets of Rage. I should keep it as a uh, Streets of Rage. But anyways, ooh, that is a good taste. That is a good taste. Man, I cannot wait to play as Max. Ooh, that's, that's so good. Oof. Wow, that is a game changer with Max. Incredibly game changing. That is cool. That is cool. All right. Well, I beat Streets of Rage 3, but with this mod, oh, it's going to be fun to play as Max. Oh, yeah. All right. Anyways, thank you to all of you who hopped in tonight. Uh, Chris, Buster, Roxhound, Jerry, Jerry Perkins, Max. Oh, Nerd Strategy. Oh, man, I, I totally missed you, dude. I'm sorry. Uh, Nuker43, uh, Buster, I think I said already. But thank you guys for watching. I appreciate it. So, I will, uh, maybe tomorrow night. Not quite sure. But, uh, oh, I definitely want to play as Max. That'll be, that'll be good. Max is such a beast. Oh, man. You would only understand if you're a Streets of Rage 2 player. All right, but anyways, I will catch you all later. Have a good night. Be safe and stay indoors, all right? Good night.